Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name's Tom. Uh, leave us a comment. Let us know how we're doing. Uh, let's get started. We're going to jump into list and assignment operators. Most notable one being the addition assignment operator has the most functionality when dealing with lists. I, I'll cover all of them from subtraction to multiplication to division to floor division to remainder and power of. But uh, like I said, the most notable is going to be addition assignment operator. So let's take a look. All right, let's create a list. A will represent that list, and the list is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Close out our square brackets. Now, <clears throat> one way we can add a value to the end of a list is using the assignment operator. So what we do is we call the list, and we say plus equals, and then inside a list, we're going to add a new object. So we'll say 6. All right, and it has to be in a, in a um, string format, or a string format, a list format, or a list data type. Um, I'll show you why in a second. All right, call A. Now we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, if we tried that without it being in a list, we're going to get in object is not iterable. All right, so <clears throat> there we go. We added six to the end using an addition assignment operator. Um, also, what we can do with the addition assignment operator is add a value to an object inside our list. So if we do uh, A and then we get the index position of a value, let's get a 2 in there. Uh, so we'll use the 1 index position and then we're going to say plus equals to add and then um, assign that value to the list. Uh, we'll say 10. All right. We'll call A. Now we got 112 instead of 1, 2. All right. Um, Another thing we could do is uh, add a slice to the list and assign it there as well. So let's get a slice something. So we'll do a uh, colon three square brackets and we'll do plus equals and then we'll just do a list. So list, um, let's do dog, oops, dog, cat, and uh, monkey. There we go. Square brackets, call A, boom. We input it dog, cat, monkey inside our list based on its index position. Since we said, hey, go to the third index uh, position and start our input there, that's where we put our three new um, animals, if you will. All right, so that's the basics with the addition uh, assignment operator. Now we can also do the subtraction assignment operator, uh, the attraction, subtraction assignment operator. Let's just create our list one more time since we get all funny in the last one, two, three, and four. All right, <clears throat> there's our list. Uh, basically, we can't do anything except change the object in place or the object in the list. All right, so let's just call an object via its index. A1 is going to return two, so we're going to say minus equals for the subtraction. Um, assignment operator one call a and we get one one three four all right all we did was subtract the number from two there so that's all we can do with the subtraction assignment operator with list all right how about the multiplication assignment operator with list well this one's a little bit more advanced um let's kind of do a is equal to and we'll create our list uh one two three four yeah we'll just go to four all right <clears throat> now we can multiply our list in here and make it one long list. And what I mean by multiply, it's going to take the current list, one, two, three, and four, and it's going to repeat it X amount of times when we call the multiplication assignment operator. So if we do A, uh, asterisk, equal sign, and then say, I don't know, five, we call A, there you go. You got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and that goes on five times, all right? Um, or actually it goes on one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five times, sorry. Uh, um, also we can multiply a single object. So we can do uh, a square bracket one, and then we'll multiply a sign uh, a value in. So the first index position is a two, we'll make that 10. So we'll call a one, 10. All right, so that's another thing we can do with the multiplication assignment operator. Um, let's go ahead and clear our screen. Let's just go on to the division operator. And now I'm going to go ahead and let's do this. A, and then we're just going to put 10, 20, 30, 40. 
in here. All right. And what I'm going to do is just go through division, floor division, remainder, and power of because all of them can only be performed on a single object inside the list. We can't do any, um, we can't call these assignment operators on the list itself, only the objects inside the list. So I'm just going to run through these real fast. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys know what to do since you've seen this before with our um, numeric tutorial section. So let's go ahead and do A and we'll call the first object, which is zero. And then we'll do divide equals to, so the division assignment operator, and we'll just say two. Call A, now we got 5.0, all right, cool. All right, let's go on the floor division. Let's do uh, A square brackets. We'll get the f second object in the list, which is the first index. And we'll do floor division, so uh, two forward slashes and then the um, equal sign for the assignment. And we'll say two, all right, we'll call A. There you go, we got 5.0 and then 10. Um, how about remainder? Um, let's go ahead and do A square brackets, two square brackets, and remainder is the percent symbol, the equal sign, and we'll do um, 3.5. Hit return, call A, and we got 2.0. All right, um, so that's the remainder, those remaining numbers. Uh, ba, 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 ba. And then the power of, we'll do that on 40. We'll do, um, let's just do A square bracket negative one square bracket, and then we'll do uh, double asterisk equal sign, and then we'll do three, call A, and we get 64,000. All right. So there you go. That's the list and assignment operators in Python. Any questions, please let me know over at mastercode.online or below in this video on YouTube. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.